Don't know how good this class is gonna be. Don't know. But, uh, right now, I think I'm gonna swap out one of the either for Metal Jaguar or Inquisitor for the Kamaravi's class or Seraph. I don't know if I want anybody to be um, to be this class yet. It help. It would have to be really good for me to like swap out both Inquisitor and for Metal Jaguar. But uh, you know, anything can happen. You want Mr. Ice? Sure, I don't mind. Feel free to grab some if you like. We're close to the water here, so there are harvest always good quantity. Huh, I, I, am, I never know. If you ever need more, just holler at you about boy. <laughs> now we only uh, need a place to cook. They taste best when they're fresh, so maybe you could use the canteen in the city. Sure. Hey, I hope you don't mind me asking, but what is the spa exactly? Huh? What is where is this coming from? The commander keeps asking me to join him on a trip to the spa place? Ah, uh, he's got a spa on the brain, has he? This is not answering my questions. Well, like, just go and you go and you will know. Everyone, get some rest. Uh, do I cook the Mr. Ice here? Red fish wait, what? I thought I said I thought you said go to the canteen and you can uh Hold on. This is the canteen, right? Make unrest at Machiba Canteen. Where Machiba Canteen? Where is that? Oh, go to the city. Okay, I thought like you need to like you said you need to make it fresh. So I thought you cook it here. But no, you cook it at the canteen. Cool, the city's canteen. Okay, that's not exactly fresh, but whatever. <coughs> Momba, what's up? The whole thing was totally cluster snuff, wasn't it? But you got me out of the, the hole? They took good care of me too, the worst you're, uh, you're a real big-hearted bunch. Well, if, uh, once someone helped me out too, just like this, and that person was a lot like you, I couldn't just leave you be. Yeah, well, I guess I own some gratitude of whoever that was. It was you. But, like, I guess you die, so you don't know. I saw, I, I, I think I saw Monica here some, uh, somewhere. Oh, there, there, there's Monica. Monica, talk to me. You did really well up there, the uh, result even better than I hoped for. We exposed the city uh, to some danger, the reward was outweigh the risk. You even smashed the castle's flame clock, that's hard uh, credit. Alright. Well, how do I get to this place? Here? Is it? Is it just here? Oh, it is! It's just here. Okay. It's literally just rice balls. Is only Gary like Japanese for rice balls? I don't know. I'm gonna fast travel honestly because I don't really wanna spend a lot of time on this side quest. Senna's gonna get this class, which is uh, which is fine. I really want Noah to hurry up and unlock the Seraph class, but I think it's gonna take a while. What? Huh? What what are you guys talking about? How's that for being lately? I should settle down a little. She's really taken a training, but she keeps getting the better of all the girl soldiers. Senna, wait. This time around, we'd like to sit in on the conversation too. Huh? But I thought No worries. We'll hang back and watch. We'll have to let you do the talking. Uh uh, okay then, if you say so. Hey, sorry to intrude. Can we have a moment? No objections. You wish to resume questioning? No, that's not why I'm here. It's just that last time, I was kind of rude. So, to apologize, 
I thought I'd visit again and bring you a little something. <sighs> I figured you might be hungry. They're called onigiri? Yes. I'm not very good at this, so they're about the only thing I can make. Yes. But I can guarantee they're tasty. And actually, Mimi says so too. Uh, Mimi, I mean Mio, she's... Yes. Oh, sorry. My bad. Please, feel free to eat. I will eat. How about it then? Cannot ascertain purpose of question. Are they tasty? Did I make them right? With regard to you, first question, number seven, comforter, tasty, to be accurate, assessment. Oh, really? That's good to hear. With regard to second, application of manual pressure resulting in compaction and prior cohesion, also showing excess salt levels. Oh, uh, no wait, that's the best part. Isn't it nice and chewy? Affirmative. Huh? Number seven has not taken sustenance in this form before. Currently considering that others of Colony Zero may also enjoy the experience. Oh, you think so? Particularly number nine seemed to be growing disaffected with the rations being distributed. And number three, whose calorie intake exceeds the baseline, may find these more sating. As a precaution, salt levels may have to be marginally adjusted, pursuant to guidance from number six. Huh. Hmm. Is there a problem? No, no, it's nothing. Oh, but if it's okay with you, could I ask you to tell me more? Acknowledged. Continuing explanation. reply to this question. Have you come to like the onigiri I made? Affirmative. Well, that's good then. I'll make them for you again sometime. Yes. Well, she eats like normal, and she can handle small talk. Yeah, there's nothing suspicious about her. Except she talks funny, but whatever. Let's let Sana keep her talking for a bit longer. Hey, you said you didn't have a name. Recollection of making such a statement exists. Well, then, what about Sagiri? Hmm. Uh, perhaps this is some sort of code or cipher. No, I'm just... I was asking what you thought about Sagiri for a name. Cannot follow logic behind query. Requesting more rational explanation. You're using difficult words again. I just didn't want to keep only calling you, you. The designation number seven is... Right! I, I just took the set part from seven and, and tacked on the giri from onigiri. Sagiri! Okay. Failure to comprehend basis for utilizing this nomenclature. Well, it's because... You said you liked onigiri just then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Senna, don't you think you're taking it a bit far? Yeah, love. Did you lose your brain at the gym or something? I'm sorry, Senna. I don't think I see what you're after here. Whoa, when did everyone get so mean? I think it's a great name, Sigiri. Yeah, yeah, I think so too, actually. It seems really, uh, friendly, somehow. <laughs> It's not really like you to come up with something like this, Senna. Really? Well, maybe so. But Mimi, I don't think it's right to call a person by a number. Hmm. Hey, I'm sorry. I let my mouth run away from me. I understand if you felt hurt by it. Regulations contain no special provisions on restricting designation. Number seven has no authority based on which to 
reject proposed designations, whatever they may be. Does that mean we can call you Sigiri and you won't mind? Don't really like this hero the way she talks. Don't understand what she's saying half the time. Well, there you have it then. Affirmative. <laughs> Nicely done, Senna. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> the girl might still be a total mystery. But really, it wouldn't have been right to call her number seven. Alright, uh... Go back, take Kamaravi and go back to the lab? Uh, you mean like the lab in Upper Altier region here? Like here? Do they, does he have like a special dialogue or something? Uh, you get Ethel back. Really? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh... Taya might need to be ranked 10. Okay, yeah. Oh, alright. So that's... I guess that's like you get Ethel back as part of the uh, Kamaravi's Ascension quest then. So, yeah, let's go check it out. Why not? Right here? Doesn't seem to open. Yeah, alright, so you can't. I guess you need to be at like rank 10 or something. That's fine. Uh, we go back to the city. We talk to Sigiri again, I guess. Uh, I think I can finish her hero quest. I have 30 minutes left. Her hero quest is actually pretty long. Um, I... I Miyabi's is part of Mew's side story, so like it unlocked automatically. Uh, Kamurabi didn't really take that long. All you had to do is like take him to the city, do a one like f tracking quest, and basically you got him. That that's basically it. You didn't really have to do anything else. I assume Sagiri will take us back to Kong Zero, and we have to fight whatever console that is. Same dialogue. Don't need to hear it again. <gasps> what happened? A coded transmission from Colony Zero. The Mobius Console F is requesting parlay with Ouroboros. Oh, Console the F. Mobius is requesting what? Number seven will use own iris as relay to forward the transmission to you. Okay. That's a helmet. To make your acquaintance, my young Uruboros friends. I am F, and before we go further, I would like to sincerely apologize for the discourtesy of this method of introduction. Ugh, what a shameless slug. Things will forget you tried to kill us. You say you want to parley. How do you imagine that will go at this point? I'm certain you will feel guarded, and rightly so. And yet, with that acknowledged, I would like to offer an opening of negotiations with you. Negotiations? Should you accept my invitation, I will rescind the extermination order on you, Uroboros. Colony Zero will henceforth no longer concern itself with your comings and goings. Oh, that'd be swell! If we were stupid enough to trust your word. And your demands? The bodily return of number seven. Huh? And that's it. That's all it would take for you to never fight with us again. Yes, you have my guarantee, and that of the whole of Colony Zero. Are you joking? You're Mobius. You'd throw away one or two soldiers without batting an eye. Certainly some consoles do display such callousness, a deplorable state of affairs. But not I. I hold the light of life possessed by Colony Zero to be of the utmost importance. Naturally, that includes number seven. That is precisely why I have reached out to you, nominally my enemies, 
even with the concomitant difficulties acknowledged. Are you telling the truth? Come on, Senna, don't fall for it. Can you give us a guarantee that you aren't lying to us right now? Of course, is what I'd love to say, but naturally, simple words are never enough to engender trust. I know. I've sent the current coordinates of Colony Zero to number seven. We shall remain here. Should you find yourselves receptive to my offer, do please pay us a visit and bring number seven with you. So you think giving us your location will make us trust you? How do we know this isn't a trap? In such a circumstance, you would possess a handy hostage in number seven. I trust I needn't say more. Ugh. Has this guy heard the way he sounds? Of course, that is not what any of us really want. My desire is to see number seven safely return to me. That is all. Number seven? Yes? I am tasking you with guiding them to Colony Zero. Follow their command until you return. Compliance. And number seven? Yes. We've all been worried about you. Hmm. That will be all. I will eagerly anticipate the day when we meet in more favorable circumstances. By the Consul's authority, Number 7 is hereby assigned to the Ouroboros' command as an exceptional measure for the duration. Pending your decision on the outcome of the proposed exchange, I await your command to depart. Well, this was... unexpected. Scary. What do we do with you? You're just calling her by the name you give her, huh? Alright. I guess we go? And your decision on the outcome of the discussion and wait your command to depart. Uh, yeah, let's go, I guess. I have nothing better to do. Um, let's finish this hero quest. Wait, are you serious? You really trust that console? Of course I don't. Not entirely. I know it could be a trap as well, but still. If, and this is a big if, okay? If he was telling the truth earlier, then we won't have to fight with Sigiri and her friends. And more importantly, I'm sure there are people waiting for her there. So, for all those reasons, I thought... Well, either way, things can't stay like this forever. Rather than make speculation after speculation and do nothing, you want to set something in motion. It's also possible, if unlikely, that we might be able to talk it through. All right. Can you tell us where Colony Zero is right now? That's your region, Capricorn Peak. Huh? Wait, isn't that... That's where we fought against those guys, ain't it? The point where Colony Zero is stationed is located even further in. That explains why you were lying in wait for us there. However, the geographical feature called the Nauclea Mire is located en route. Entering it is predicted to have severe negative impact on your biological processes. Then how do you guys get through? The Pharaon's environmental hazard resistance can temporarily neutralize poisonous materials. Oh, so you neutralize poison. Oh, is that the thing you were writing inside? Affirmative. Consequently, traversal through the afflicted area will necessitate retrieval and refurbishing of the abandoned Pharaon suit. We can ask Riku to fix it up. Will that be okay with you? No objections. Oh, if Riku must... Will not leave friends in lurch. All right then, just be patient for us a little while longer, okay, Sigiri? Compliance. So I assume you give me immunity to poison, and that's how that works. Are you are you a hero now, or what's the deal here? No, you are not. All right. Uh, it says at here region, so I assume it's over here. Yes, yeah, right here. I wonder if you're gonna be Agnian or Kevis.
Hey, cool, get to work. Um, hello? There we go. How does it look, Riku? Can you get it in working order? It looked like problem mostly cosmetic. Riku have it working in no time flat. And ready. Riku proud of own handiwork. And how does it look to you? Can you still use it? Power lines clear. All sensors online. Baron unit number seven, fully operational. That sounds good. Are you ready to guide us? Understood. Designating route. So do we temporarily join the party? Hatch or neutralization. You cannot safely travel field where previously you could not environmental damage. This travel skills are scary to the party and allows you to run over poison surface without taking damage. Oh wait, he is oh he oh cool. So like you do get the uh the Feronis thing. Okay. That's cool. What kind of class are you? Machine assassin. Alright, what kind of art do you have? Who is damaged down with hacking from side? Applies one random shoes and debuffs. One win a hit hits. When this art hits, spread targets debuff to other enemy in range. Okay, that's not bad. Inflicts resist down when art hits the enemy rare. Resistance down. Hmm. Extend debuff effect duration by 15% when art hits. So you just applies de applies debuff. Inflict resistance down when the uh hold on. Extend debuff duration by 15 when art hits. Okay. Plus one random choosing debuff when our hits. Mm, not as good, but um, yeah, not as good. Debuff, uh, debuff an enemy boost damage by 75% up to maximum of 150. Add equal chance of attack to be unblockable. Boost damage down into an attack is debuff the enemy. Okay, so you are like a debuff debuff attacker. That's what you are. Cool? I mean, like, it's fine, I guess, but, you know. 